Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk about why I think people should watch Rise of the Phoenixes. So let's get into it. Now, it is a 70 episode drama, so I want to warn you before I tell you any other information. But if you watch Game of Thrones and you manage to get to the end and you watched all eight seasons, I believe, you can probably sit down and watch Rise of the Phoenixes. It's slow pace. But politically it's very interesting the main character is incredibly politically savvy and also very sly and it works very well in his favor throughout the show there's like a teeny bit of romance that's so so subtle that you question yourself about whether you're really seeing romantic moments or not but it's subtle enough that it also makes it fun and interesting to watch Alongside that, it has elements of comedy that I've seen only in dramas like Ming Dynasty. And it makes it funnier because when you think about it in a royal um, imperial context, them adding any elements of comedy is going to have me on the floor rolling around. The other things I really liked about it was that the costume design was impeccable. Everybody looked fantastic from the villains to the heroes to the anti-heroes, to the grey characters, to the side characters, everybody looked fantastic. And then in addition to that, um, the cinematography was also really good. I remember certain shots that I just loved looking at and loved seeing with the main character walking or them being in the Imperial Palace and doing something political. And I think also character-wise, I was invested in all the characters, main characters, side characters, villains, I found all of them equally as interesting and so I actually did not, you know, put it on two times speed, I didn't skip anything. Now, the only thing I would say is that I don't think it has high rewatch value because I've only been able to rewatch certain episodes, I would never rewatch the whole thing. It's one of those shows that it's so slow paced that I think that once you've watched it for the first time, you don't really need to revisit the entire thing again to get the message unless of course you want to provide clarification for certain scenes that you found a little bit confusing the first time aside from that it's not something that i would re-watch in its entirety but it is good um the last thing i'm going to mention is it has a really nice ost if you liked the legend of shen li ost i think you will like the rise of the phoenix's ost because it doesn't consistently use lyrics sometimes it's literally just instrumentals and it sounds amazing. You know they're probably using traditional Chinese instruments. Um, like, I can't remember the name of the instrument, but it kind of looks like a... Um, hmm, it's got strings. The chin, it's called. Um, but they use traditional Chinese instruments in it, and you can definitely tell that, and it sounds really great. And it's emotional, and the OST definitely adds a lot of um, kind of feelings and emotions to a lot of the scenes that you watch. And also, if you love Nini, Nini plays a female lead and the acting in it is amazing. I am, so I fell in love with Chen Kun after I watched Rise of the Phoenixes and Nini as well, I love her. (laughs) So it was just amazing seeing them together as well and everybody else just brings so much energy and humanity to the roles that they play. So I would really recommend it. I think people should watch Rise of the Phoenixes. Even if you watch it over the course of like a year, I think it's worth giving your time to. Let me know what you think in the comments, if you've seen it, if you haven't, if you want to check it out, if you don't, let me know. Okay, later, bye.